G'day there and welcome to this video. Many of the files that I've made in the past have been quite complex in that I've had lots of tricks linked together to make the end product and although that can be quite quite cool, um, it can be pretty hard to replicate if you're only just getting going. And so what Excel is good for is that even with a small amount of knowledge you can do some useful things and help yourself out a lot so this is a demonstration of a couple of simple things that can be done in 10-20 minutes and give you something useful to use so I had a question from a PT who was looking for a, a tool to monitor his personal training sessions and this was just something that I threw together in a few minutes to demonstrate so I've got some column headings here on a page called data and there's also a page called control panel. Now um, all I've got on this control panel page is a list of names and session types so um, pretty simple I'm just going to start with them. I'm going to have a blank cell as the first um, item in the list and I'm going to drag down to say 30 just so we can add a few extra names on the bottom. Now with that lot selected I'm simply going to type in the name box list of names. I'm going to do that again over here with session types. I'm just going to go down to row 10. Instead of doing it that way, I'm going to go to insert name and define. So this is how you get to the name box on a Mac. And so what you've got here is the ability to type our name but also you can edit the cell range that it's referring to down here and so I'm just going to say OK. If I wanted to go back to that and edit it, follow the same steps and go in here and edit it. Cool, so we've got two named ranges now I'm going to go back to the data page. I'm just going to select down to say number 30 here and I'm going to click on data and data validation. And I'm just going to type the range that I just created a few seconds ago called list of names. And so now we've got a list of all our clients. Next, follow the same process for session type. I can click on data here or I can do it up here as well. Data validation. So now I've just got some session types there. And in both of those two cases, because I created the name range longer than the number of items in the list, I can add new items to the bottom of the list if I like. And they'll automatically be on our pick list when we go to that page. Now RPE, um, I usually use a, um, a 110 scale, so um, there's a possibility you might enter that incorrectly. So you could use data validation in a different way. Um, if you allow decimals, choose decimal. If you only use a whole number, which I think is the way to go, you can simply set that up. And what's good about it, doing it that way is that if someone types the wrong thing in, it tells you that that's not okay. Cool. And so you could add different validation messages all the way across some of these columns. But really all I've done here is set up a simple recording tool that can contain any column headings you like. There may be, I just put exercise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You might have key exercises that you use 
You might write some comments. And you might give yourself a follow up. Task. And you might have a column there saying, have you completed that follow-up task? Especially if it's about making another session appointment. So anyhow, um, as a data entry sheet, this is pretty simple and pretty easy. And so what's good about a, a really simple tool like this is that um, unless you've got thousands of rows of data, you can gain plenty from simply using the filter to look at the data for a particular person. So if you've got all your clients in the same sheet, you can simply turn the filter on, and simply filter by the person you want to look at, and therefore take everyone else away. And when you want to go back to normal, simply clear the filter, and you're back to normal again. And so simply just using the filter, having a couple of data validation lists in place allows you to just do some simple tracking. And as you get a bit more data in the system and a bit more sophisticated, you can start to have charts create themselves and things like that, such as the amount of cardio they did this month or, or something like that. But at the beginning, it's just a process of getting started. So hopefully this is an example of how... Uh, just a few minutes work could get you on the road to being a bit more organized and monitoring your athletes a little bit better.